First time out at a hot Curra maiden, ruler of the world kept on well to beat the useful Manalapan, the pair pulling seven and a half lengths clear. As they race up towards the finish, Manala Pan, ruler of the world, closing with every stride as they go up to the line. Ruler of the world gets there from Manala Pan. Just a month later, he was sent off odds on for the Group 3 Chester Vars, which he landed by a widening six lengths. And now shaken up, ruler of the world quickly asserts and he's going to come clear. In second is Mr. Impatience and ruler of the world is going to make it two out of two, kept up to his work for education purposes. But again, this race goes to Aidan O'Brien, doubled on the day for Ryan Moore. Ruler of the world wins eventually by as much as six lengths. Oh, he's quite good, this horse. He's quite good, ruler of the world. He's drawn right away from above average rivals to give Aidan O'Brien a fifth chest of ours and there is every chance that this horse will now take his place in the Investec Derby on Epsom Downs on June the 1st. That will be his next date. Will it be a date with destiny? He's not quite the ruler of the world yet, but he's on his way up there. He absolutely marmalised them uh, in the style of one who was destined for better things uh, and he looked um, certainly a genuine derby contender and also one that you'd mark down for the ledger even at that early stage. This bit of the race is very impressive. Once he straightens up, in relative terms, compared to the other three, he accelerates really well. Then he runs home dead straight. Beautifully bred, as we've touched on, his half-brother to Duke of Marmalade. The dam is a half-sister to Shuelan, who was a good horse for Alex Stewart. Further back, it's Wolfhound and Foxhound, etc. Could this horse become the first in Shergar in 81 to do the Vars in Vestic Derby Double? If you, if you look at, watch this horse, one thing that always impressed me about Galileo is a tremendous flexion of his shoulder. He's got a big action at full stretch, this horse. He really grabbed the ground when he went for him and stretched right away to win uh, very impressively. Yeah. If you're not going to be impressed with that, you won't be impressed with anything. What you will be impressed with next is the pedigree. We talked about it a couple of times already. Let's have a look at it uh, laid out, so to speak, by Galileo. And then further back, Lassie's Lady, that's the family of Wolfhound, Foxhound, etc., etc. And more immediately, Duke of Marmalade is a horse we all remember with fondness. Then it was on to Epsom, where he retained his unbeaten record. Inside the final furlong, ruler of the world by two lengths, the Battle of Marengo and Galileo Rockanokavango. Libertarian finishing well, but ruler of the world on top of the world, and Epsom wins the derby. If you give a horse a name like ruler of the world, he's going to be able to run, and this fella can. He's come such a long way in such a short space of time. When he won on his debut at the Curra, he had to be driven out pretty firmly. A much sharper model when he went to Chester for the Chester Vars, and today, aided by a furious drive from Ryan Moore, he's won a pulsating derby. And you sense that, rather like his sire, Galileo, a son of the great Sandler's Wells, and rather like the horse's half-brother, Duke of Marmalade, he will continue to accumulate one prize. He is a horse that can run hard, and fast over distance, and that's what this race is all about. Absolutely, he's, he's tough as, uh, as well as having the requisite stamina. It is interesting, you just said to Graham a second ago, the first three home, we talked all about speed, they have got proper mile and a half pedigrees. First of all, he was the first horse since 1993, Commander-in-Chief, to win the derby, having gone unraced as a two-year-old. He had to pack an enormous amount of education into a very small space of time, winning at Chester's May Festival, and then producing a really good turn of foot under Ryan Moore to win the Blue Ribbon at Epsom. Back at 10 furlongs in the champion stakes, ruler of the world was only narrowly beaten by a pair of European champions in Far and Sirister's A. Ruler of the world is thrusting, Fahar is nothing if not game, and he's just going to win it! Three serious horses, they were eight to ten lengths clear. I think Ruler of the world's best performance from a form perspective was uh, his third placing uh, on Champions Day at Ascot in a top class mile and a quarter event. Uh, Cirrus des Aigues, Le Fabre, uh, have lots of form that marks them down as uh, well out of the ordinary and he ran them very close in a race that played to his strengths because the conditions put an emphasis on stamina and over middle distances I think that suited him best. His run at Ascot when he was third behind Far and Cirrus des Aigues, two of the best middle distance horses in the last decade or so, was a really creditable performance. In the latest season, Ruler of the World took the Group 2 pre-foy from André Fab's Group 1 winner, Frinshire. 
ruler of the world out in front trying to make call and Dottori is going to do it as well ruler of the world in front made it all to win here Flincher closing at the end but a good ride from Dottori won that under that well judged ride he won one cosily from a horse who went on to run an extremely good race in the arc in Flincher a son of the world's best stallion Galileo Ruler of the world hails from the sire-producing family of AP Indy and Lemon Drop Kid. From a, pedi from a pedigree perspective, he's obviously very interesting because he comes from a lovely family. Uh, it's by Galileo, uh, from the family of Duke of Marmalade, uh, Foxhound, Wolfhound, Shuelin, a very good horse that Alex Stewart trained. There's lots of good horses on the female side of his pedigree. So he's certainly of interest from that uh, perspective. By the brilliant Galileo, of course, and a half-brother uh, to the five-time Group 1 winning uh, Duke of Marmalade. So it's all there, the page, the performance, and he remains uh, an exciting prospect as he retires to start.